finished up my Resident Evil Chainsaw demo playthrough. My all 25 horrifying minutes of it. Uh, yeah, got a couple things I want to say about it. When I was younger, the game came out in 2005. I was 10 years old. I'm 28 now. Um, the game was too scary for me to play. I would sit there and I would have to watch my brother play. I would watch my friend play. I was way too scared to play a game like that. It's my first ever horror game. I never really played horror games before that. Uh, I still don't really, but it's neither here nor there. I've played now since Resident Evil 4. It got me into the other Resident Evil games. Um, loved them all so far. Even, you know, even six, five. Five and six were good. I don't care what you say. But... Some things that are really exciting about uh, going through and doing this, it made the game feels and looks exactly how I felt it felt, or how I felt it looked back in the day. It was it was insane. It was like just going through that 25 minutes of you know, going through the woods, going into the cabin. Like the cabin was a scary thing, you know. You see this cabin in the woods by itself and. You know, in the in the in the normal in the base game, you're sitting there. It's day. It's daylight. It's you know, it's secluded, but it's daylight. You got your two top people behind you, uh, so you kind of have this little bit of security, I guess. I don't know. But you walk in there, guy attacks you, blah blah blah. You get jumped by two dudes outside. You just run past. Who cares? And the the run to the village is very whatever. You run into a couple enemies. It's a straight path. It feels, you know, RE4 was a very linear game. I think we all know that. But you kind of go through, and I remember being like, I could. What I would do is I would do that bit, the beginning segment, in the little picture-to-picture -picture thing that was on there on my TV, where you could have a small little screen, like a little, uh, like a little video game playing in the back, and then you could have the TV, and I'd be have my fucking cartoons on. And I'd have Resident Evil 4 right here. So, like, just to kind of... It's it's like when you're streaming. You have the main game in the box here. And then you have the, 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 the streamer, the streamer like, over here. You know, like, this small. That was me to video games. And I would sit there. And I'd be, you know, not looking too close. Because I'd be all scared and whatever. I did that a couple times. Um, I would play through it like that. And then I'd play through the big screen to actually see the, the gameplay. It was awesome. It was... It was a good way to play when you're, you know, afraid <laughs> of, of everything. Um, but I could never get through the actual village. I played through it one time. I, I, I played up to it. Um, I just would play it like that because I was too scared. I could never be do the village stuff. It was so overwhelming to just have, you know, all these enemies all around you. And the chainsaw comes and then you're, you, you run up. You run a path, and there's another chainsaw, and you go all this, and I didn't even. It was just too much. It was too much for my to my my scared little brain to handle. Um, so, I watched my friends play it. I watched my brother play it, um, and of course, as everybody does, especially in the age of that or that age, you go online and you look up you know, videos or reviews or something of the game, and you just fucking ruin your ruin the perception of the game. But. It still made it scary. I was still scared to play through it when I was younger. And now, finally, I am 28 years old. I am playing the remake, similar to how when people played Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 back on the PS1, they play this remake and that's probably how they felt. That's probably everything that they experienced in their minds, you know, in that 2D, uh, fixed camera angles, everything. That's probably how they felt. Exactly how the games per true per are, are. And I, for one, really like that. I like the I like the thought of that. And this is actually how I am with Resident Evil Four. Just that little demo. Um, going through, and I, I don't know how. I don't know. It's it's for one. It's dark. And you start the game. It's fucking dark. You know, as in the woods by yourself, and you're trotting on through and before it was just a straight path and now it's got one little it's got a little barbed wire and you just walk around who cares but the atmosphere of having to go through the bram the brush the brambles the branches all coming down 
you go, you, you learn that you can crouch. You can crouch in this fucking game. What the hell? But yeah, you go and you, you cut through and then you start walking in and you, you, because you've played it before, you get that feeling of it's nostalgia. It comes back and you're like, okay, I remember when I walked in here, it was scary before. And now you, and you know what to expect. So obviously I have to change some things, but you walk in and it actually is a fucking, it's a derelict house. It actually is things are just broken down. Everything's just, you know, it looks like an, inf uh, some villager who didn't infected by parasites would live, you know, and it's shit. It's shit everywhere. And you go in there and the, I like the fact that you don't fight the guy. You, you basically kill him, but you kick him, you break his neck. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Actually, you break his neck, you go down and then you have to hunt, go down into the basement and you find you know, a cop. I'm a little curious because that cop that you find technically is supposed to be getting thrown to Del Lago. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, not the not important part. You find a dead cop and then then you get attacked. Then you're fighting. You know, you you are you're right like right as soon as you walk through, you hear it and you see him all in broken necked all coming at you. It's horrifying. Like it's actually scary. Uh and yeah, you can I I I didn't know what to do. You, you, they're faster. They're faster. That's the thing. They're faster now. It's not as simple as, you know, these dudes, you know, they, they were fast before. They were faster than the other, like, one, two, and three. But they're almost like Usain Bolt. It's insane. They're just like, he's on top of the stairs. I get my gun ready. He's already at the bottom of the stairs. I get two shots off. He's They're just eating my bullets, and they just... You know, before, cap him in the knee, shoot him in the head, it stuns him, and you run past him or kill him, you know, or kick him. I don't... It was It was just... It was like that first encounter was, was scary. Like, actually scary. And then walking into... up Walking to the upstairs, you hear the enemies come in, and they didn't come in last time. They sat outside until you went outside. And this time, they're taking the initiative. They're coming at you, and... It was scary. Like, there's this dude who runs in, and you're, I'm crouching down because I know you can crouch now. So I'm sitting there, I'm crouching. And it was it, the whole experience in that little bit was actually tense. It was scary, and I don't know if it's just because it was new and I've played Resident Evil Four a hundred times by now, but this was this like I knew what to expect, and it still got me. It was crazy. And then the you know you go through, you jump out the window, you do your cool thing. And then you kind of walk on, and there are a couple of villagers, a couple enemies, nothing major that you kind of experience. It's just kind of, you know, bam, bam, shoot, shoot, go, go, and onto the, you know, the the meat. I'll say the meat of the of the experience is that village segment. You know, Resident Evil Four original, two thousand five, whatever, uh, however you guys want to put it. It was tense. It was scary. I remember running around. I remember dying a lot. Um, I it was it was horrifying. And then you find different ways that are make it very easy. Like the way that I handle it every single time that I play the game when I do a new game plus or a new game, new game plus, um, hard mode, professional mode, whatever. <coughs> nice um is i go right I, I i i make a i make a run right past enemies i jump over the fence i get in the thing i grab the shotgun grab the grenade hit the ladder drop down push the go straight hit that door and then there's a metal door with no windows no anything in there and you just post up there you have enough shotgun shells to basically run in there uh shoot everything for five minutes i think is what it is and just sit there and that's all you can do um or that's all i do and it's super easy simple takes all the tension out of it and whatever well then i decide i'm gonna do that same thing i'm gonna do that same thing uh in this in the remake so i do 
do the thing. I, I look at the I look at the binoculars. I run through, jump the fence, grab the shotgun, uh, grab the grenade. There's enemies already inside, so that kind of threw me for a loop the first time. So I was like, okay, I'm fucked. What do I do? Um, I jump out the window instead because there's two enemies blocking my path to what I normally would do. And then I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay, what the heck is like? What do I do? I'm running around. There's so much stuff going on. There's way, way more enemies. There's like probably 20, 30 enemies all on this small map. And it feels smaller. And I don't know if they do that by design or by how the shortcuts are or anything like that. But it feels like a smaller map. And you're running around. Uh, you, you know, I, I, The first time I didn't know what to do. I posted up. I, you know, you can go around the building. And yeah, they can throw things at you, but if you angle yourself down enough, then you can, as they come around the corner, you can shoot. Lo and behold, there's a window there. So now you have enemies coming out the front, enemies coming out the window, and they're faster. They don't, they have no like hit stun or less hit stun. So you're just kind of like the handgun's not going to do anything. So you jump off, and then right after that, I ran to that door, and there is somebody, there is some. There's some villager just sitting there. She's just sitting there. And then she gets up and I freak out and I run through the door. There's already two enemies in there with me and I'm freaking out and I hit them with a grenade. And then there's just enemies everywhere. Like there's, and there's a window there and I have jump out and then I die. It was the most intense thing I've felt playing Resident Evil in a long time. And, uh, I just decided, like, so I tried it again, did the same thing, go through there, because you gotta get the shotgun, you can't not. And I decided to check around other things, and there are so many other options that you can go down and do. Um, like, the, the whole thing of climbing up in the bell tower. Well, before, they would throw fire at you. You know, they'd throw a bunch of fireballs at you and just burn to death. Not this one. This one, uh, it collapses, and then you're just on top of by 40 dudes. It's horrifying. It is the most... It is so... They changed up so much stuff. I'm so excited to find out what they're going to do with other stuff. Uh, some of the other doors. I At one point, I had a flaming cow after me. I have no idea what that's about. I, I, I was not expecting to see a flaming cow coming running at me. It made me panic and run. It was just... There was so much stuff that was happening, I just... I have no idea. It was... It was something. It was definitely something. And honestly, I, I obviously I've gone through and I've explained my whole... Ex like, you could watch the video, but... The explanation, I feel, I just needed to like grasp. I knew what I was doing and I've played the game before and I've done it. And this whole thing is just... It's, it's turned it all on its head and... When the bell rang and it didn't cut, when it didn't cut to a cutscene, I was actually like nervous. I was like, okay, I know what's supposed to happen. I hear the bell. Everything kind of just stopped, and you really feel that. Like you feel the. It's actually over. Like what the hell? Like it's it's insane. Um, I'll be honest. I'm a little nervous to play the game. And I think that makes it that much better. I am nervous. I'm, I'm already scared. I'm in anticipation. I have to go through that again. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to play through it on stream a couple times, uh, just to kind of familiar, familiarize myself with the actual gameplay. So, I guess we'll kind of see what happens. But I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to this game. It's going to be, it's going to be something, something awesome gonna be amazing i think it's gonna live up to all the hype of what resident evil 4 did i think it's you know it's hard to follow up what is so-called the best game in the series um people say it's the best horror sh FP or horror shooter game i don't know if i agree with that but it's not really horror but but re4 remake is exactly what i thought it was going to be or what i thought it was when I was growing up. So where I'm sitting now, I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I'm going to be streaming the whole thing on Twitch uh, on the 
It says Steam says it comes on the 23rd. Everywhere the release date's 24th. I'm not sure what to expect, so uh, it looks like I'll be playing on the 24th uh, on that Friday, and we're gonna see how far we can get. Uh, hope to see you guys there. Just wanted, I just wanted to talk about this. I just want to talk about this game. Uh, I want to talk about how crazy it is. I want to talk about how it made me feel because I really think that if you were a fan of the original, you're going to be a fan of this. And if you weren't a fan of the original because it wasn't scary, you're probably going to be a fan of this. So do yourself a favor, play the Resident Evil 4 chainsaw demo. And if you don't think you're going to be able to play it because you were a scared little baby like I was all the way back in the day, check me out on the 24th over on twitch.tv slash Aranova and I'll be streaming the whole thing live. All right. With that, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.